Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty and my channel is, uh, it's a lot of different things. <laughs> Just like I'm a lot of different things. I enjoy a lot of different things. I do a lot of different things. This channel is a reflection of that. Uh, so today I'm really going to get outside of the box and I'm going to show you my office and uh, the cleaning up that I've been doing. I first filmed the mess in here. I was, well, let me back up. So on August 29th, <laughs> I was like, I can't take this anymore. This, this is, it was just like driving me nuts. I was like, all right, I have to do something. And I said, I'm gonna film a video of a before and then I'll do an after. And today is October 22nd, and I'm just now filming the after. Okay, didn't take <laughs> the entire two months to clean the room, like, nonstop, because I was doing other things, too. Um, but I got sidetracked by a couple of big hurricanes that came through. We fortunately did not have anything severe. But it really sidetracked me because I had to, like, put everything up and then put things back twice. So, and then clean up after both storms, they made a mess and it took me a while to get the yard cleaned up. So, you know, life stuff happened. Uh, but I um, brought plants in. I'm starting to bring my plants in now because it's getting cool out. And they're set up in the room and I was like, you know, this room is starting to look really, really good. I think I can just finish out the little odds and ends, and then I can give you the after tour. So right now, <laughs> we're going to go to the video of the past so that you can see where I started. Oh my God. And then uh, what I'm gonna kind of do is do the same uh, video as an after. And uh, I'll just kind of give you the tour. I know like people like to see office tours. So I'll, I'll give you the, the little, the tour of what's going on here. Okay, so uh, let's uh, go, <laughs> go look at the mess of office past. This is the train wreck that is my office. And so you can kind of see why. I don't even want to be in here right now because I've let it get totally out of hand. I mean, who wants to sit there and do anything? It's awful. And the pile, <sighs> and it's dark because the room is dark, but it's just made worse because it's, I've allowed it to become so cluttered. I mean, it's just, yeah. So, uh, yeah, behind the door. And then here's the closet. I mean, it's like I just have a pile of stuff coming out of the closet. It's ridiculous. Projects over there on the left. Oh, God, look at the closet. I mean, it's... So I'm going to start working on this and uh, get this organized because this, um, <laughs> this is out. Unbelievable, right? <laughs> Uh, I thought so. I went digging around for that video last night. It took me a while to find it because I had to go so far back. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, this has come so far. I still have stuff to work on, but you know what? I'm super proud of the way this room looks. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the tour. So this is the part of the room that you always see behind me, and um, that's a Doctor Strange poster I got when I went to see the movie. I have sort of a crush on Benedict Cumberbatch, so that's the only reason why I went to see that movie. And I just, I don't know, I thought it was, I thought it was a cool movie once I saw it, and um, so, yeah, that's why he's in here. Um, I do like sci-fi. In fact, up here is um, one of my Star Trek plates. And that's my favorite uh, classic Star Trek episode, The City on the Edge of Forever. And I actually have seen The Guardian um, in person at a convention, so yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll go around the room. 
This is some photography I did of some of my flowers. I really love growing my own things and then taking pictures of them and that's one of the things that I've done. Um, this is a photo from way long years ago and I actually won uh, some awards for that so I'm super proud of it. It was shot on film and it's on um, canvas. And then up here, I'm also really proud of that one. I've never gotten to show that, um, but that is, uh, that's a nude model. And um, it, it's kind of fallen in the frame. I need to fix it, but that I'm super proud of. So, and I want YouTube to pull my site down so we'll <laughs> just stop looking at that picture. Um, okay, everybody likes a shelfie. Here's my shelf. That is a picture from when I went to um, New York. And then, of course, the little uh, cup cozy patterns I made with Hermione. And then um, this is Eugenia, and she's wearing one of my um, patterns. And then uh, this you'll see behind me. I got all of this cleaned up. I'm so happy about it. Uh, so let me show you what I did. Uh, this is actually supposed to be a planter, but what I did is I cut flowers from my front pollinator garden and just put them in here. And uh, they last a really long time and they smell really good and I love them. They are uh, marigolds and lantana. And these are little fake cactus that I got at um, Lidl. This is uh, called a ZZ plant. And I've been working a part-time job where I um, water plants in an office and take care of the plants. Well, they wanted this one groomed and the cuttings were so beautiful, I just didn't have the heart to put them in the trash. So I'm trying to get them to root and I have no idea if it's gonna work, but isn't that cool looking? Normally, you know, I won't do anything without drainage, but these plants are a little bit different. So I'm, I'm trying it, we'll see if it works. But just look at how beautiful that desktop is. And then down here is where my printer that doesn't work is sitting. But look at how cleaned up all of that is. And then we'll come around to this side. <gasps> look at this. This is my view now when I look over here. Instead of all of that awful mess, I have my beautiful plants. I brought these in for the winter. I put everything out in the summertime because they do so much better outside. But um, this one, it's called a Chinese Evergreen. This is the Pogos. That's a little succulent and that's my Anthropology planter. This is my little DIY um, terrarium for my air plant and I've got a couple of mo more of those to make and this is another one of those um, ZZ plant clippings I have no idea if it's gonna work we're just gonna see and that's like an aloe plant and some little rocks and this is all my little my little tribute wall to Willie my precious dog there he is oh I miss him every day this is all beautiful art that people sent me of him. But uh, yeah, look at the difference when you walk in. I mean, before it was just, oh, this awful piles of papers and come around and ooh, look at my desk. Isn't that great? Super happy about this. My little shelf up there. Oh, the papers. My biggest challenge is in wrangling papers. Okay, and I'll take you around over here. <gasps> Look at this. Look at how cleaned up. So I wound up moving the um, shelf with the books and all of that over to this corner. Um, I, it may stay there forever. I don't know, but for now I put the plants because obviously they need the, the window light. Aren't they beautiful? But it just tucked in there so nice. So that's where I put it. Do you have a couple of things I gotta get opened? But <laughs> you can see the floor. Um, and then here's my 
our cabinet own project. So this pile is all of the knitted pieces I've made that I need to write up as patterns. And it's a combination of free and um, paid patterns. But this basket is full. So I have got to get all that written up. That's my little Alfie. And of course I need, made that little cowl for him. And um, <laughs> these little guys, I sewed a whole family of these. And I haven't even done any kind of blog post or video about them, but I got these, uh, the pattern for this off of the Suits and Says, but I um, actually embroidered the faces and sewed the little, the little animals. Isn't that cute? And then these are uh, project bags and here's, I made those bags. This is all extra fabric I've got. I've got a lot of fabric. <laughs> um, books and stuff, CDs, but look at how much neater and cleaner all of this is. And then up there is my little um, Harry Potter and Hermione dolls. I'd like to get the Ron and the Jenny, but for right now I just have Harry and Hermione. And um, oh, I'll show you this. So this is my um, Counselor Troy plate. I met her in person and she autographed the plate and I dusted it recently and um, it wiped off where she signed the plate. So yeah, cleaning is not always your friend. But anyway, I want you to see this. Look. In the other video, I mean, I couldn't even, you couldn't see the floor. I couldn't get the door closed. And so this is not perfect, but look inside. Ta-da! It's at least somewhat organized. It's certainly better than it was. So, yeah, I've got, still got some stuff to do, but at least... It's not all falling out on the floor like it was. <sighs> so, yeah. And this is just piles of yarn I've got to figure out what I'm doing with. Oh, and this is like a whole bag of dried herbs. So, yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff coming about herbs. <laughs> and um, that's one of the vintage gowns that I own. Um, I should do a whole video on the vintage gowns, but not today. And uh, this little piece I found in another cleanup and I made that many years ago. So I am, um, yeah, that's one of my sewing pieces from probably 30 years ago, maybe a little more, at least 30, probably longer, but anyway, yeah. And you can see my chair. I can actually sit in my chair now and enjoy it. And there's my little footrest. So that's that's the room. I mean, it's um, it's a small room. It's probably ten by ten. Um, but I surely am um, grateful to have it because it's my own office. But I do a lot of stuff in this little room, so it it, it gets very important to keep it picked up as I go. And I just kind of let it get out of hand. But when I knew the plants were going to come back in, I had to get it done. So um, here it is. And I hope you enjoyed this little tour. Okay, so when it's time to start filming more of the podcast style videos or the project check-ins, this will be the view behind me. And isn't it beautiful? I mean, I just love it. It's like a turn a little bit. I would like to show more of the plants, but there's only so much I can get, get into a shot. But um, yeah, I think that looks a million times better. And I love how cleaned up that is. It was really a job. I don't like filing. I don't like it at all. I don't like managing papers. I have a real mental block on keeping up with the papers and the bookkeeping. The interesting thing is that um, I did office work for many, many years. In fact, um, I am trained as a bookkeeper, but I hate it. I mean, hate it with a passion. So 
you know, it's one thing to go in and do somebody else's stuff as your job, but when you've got to do your own, it's just, it's kind of a nightmare. <laughs> so I tend to let some things go, but I'm working on that. So that's, that's the video for today. I just wanted to kind of share my progress with you and to just let you know that it's okay if it takes you a little longer than you expected to get something done. I think what's important is that you continue to move forward. And that's, I guess, the point of this video is to say, okay, maybe I didn't get it done in two days, took a little longer, other things were going on in my life, but I still managed to get it done. And it's beautiful. And I'm very excited about working in here now. So that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspires you to tackle something in your home or in your life that you've been avoiding and just, you know, one step at a time. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. <laughs> and the journey of a thousand dust mites begins with a single cloth. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. It means so much. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you will like the video and be sure to subscribe. I've got uh, tons of fresh new content planned, lots of knitting tutorials and projects, and I'm really getting into the whole recipe thing. So, and this is not like complicated recipes. I'm trying out some things, which is more like a f more food review, I guess, but it's fun. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy it and uh, stick around for more. Okay, until the next video, I'm Patty and thank you for watching.